my biggest fears with owning a modified car is the fear of losing that car to a fire. The simple solution to this is put a fire extinguisher in the car. Now that's easy, but at the same token, fire extinguishers have a shelf life. They have to be checked every so often to make sure they still have pressure. And if you want a fire extinguisher that can put out a decent sized fire, it has to be a decent sized fire extinguisher. Now, Element Advanced Fire Protection has come up with a solution. They offer these fire sticks. They're about the size of a road flare. They can fit right in your glove box and you can keep multiple with you. And the biggest advantage is they have a very long shelf life. So you don't have to worry about them not being pressurized, anything like that. But the question is, how effective is this versus a fire? Well, to put it to the test, we're gonna start with this small campfire and see what it does. All right, so to activate this, you remove the cap, remove the bottom, which has the striker on it, and then you just rip this across this friction pad and it ignites it and causes it to start extinguishing, just like that. So something unique is actually happening. It's actually fanning the flames. As you can see, it's making the coal hotter. So then when I move away from it, it's actually making it worse. All right, so it's been a few minutes since I hit this with the fire stick. I will actually say now the fire has died down significantly and is looking like it's almost on its way out. Kind of a delayed response there, but that's a somewhat of a promising sign, but not exactly the effect that I was seeking out. The main reason why I bought these fire sticks was for fear of having a fire in my engine bay. So to put it to the test, I'm going to mimic what a fire in my engine bay would be like. Using this 55 gallon drum, I'm gonna fill it with things that you would find commonly in your engine bay. So things like rubber hosing, silicone couplers, thick gauge wire with loom on it, small gauge wire, factory hard lines, engine bay plastics. I think this one is out of a Toyota Celica and insulation, stuff that you may find on the underside of the hood. And lastly, the thing that will most likely kick this all off, gasoline.
as you can see, these were pretty ineffective to the fire. I'm uh, thinking about this in a real life situation. It would have been, I would have grabbed this out of my glove box. I would have ran, popped the hood, and then tried to extinguish the fire. If it had gotten to the size that this fire was at, you could see there's little to no effect. I mean, I had this thing pretty much inside the barrel and it was doing absolutely nothing. I couldn't get my hand any closer because if I did, I was gonna burn my hand. So being this would be similar to what a real life situation would be, would be you would have no fire protective equipment on, your hands would most likely be uncovered like mine are, and you would just be shoving this under the hood hoping that you could extinguish the flames, but it had little to no effect. So at, at this point, I think I might have to buy a fire extinguisher. All right, so for this test, we're gonna do fire stick versus, let's say, a simple fuel leak. Gasoline, a little bit of fuel, and it's just got some wood logs in the barrel, and that's mainly gasoline burning. So let's see how it does versus just raw gas. So for this, I just said, screw it. Threw the thing right in there. Fire, you can still hear the fire going. And there are still flames in there. Let's see if we get that same delayed response that we got with the campfire. All right, so the extinguisher just ran out. We still have a small fire going in there. I mean, I don't know how effective that was going to be throwing it in like I did, but it was the only way to get it to the source of the fire. Kind of an inaccurate test. But it did put it largely up, but then again, it was mostly gasoline, so it was going to burn itself out pretty quickly anyway. Still very questionable. So after all three of these, I'm not really convinced that I would trust my car in the hands of these fire sticks. I think the next thing to do would be to get a similar sized fire extinguisher or something that would be able to fit in a similar spot as one of these and try that out. I got to put that fire out before it gets any bigger, but that would be in the next video. So until then, stay tuned.